Hello everyone, so um, uh, this is our last segment of this discussion of pointer and dynamic array. So we are back to uh, class. So as you said that we can also create dynamic uh, variable of class type. Okay. Now in if we have a dynamic variable of class type, for example, like this. Okay. So we know that this is going to call the default constructor of my class, and this is going to initialize a object of my class type. Okay, and this is going to return the address of the object, and uh, this pointer is going to point to that address. Okay, and this is a my class type. All right, now pointer p is pointing to this my class object. That means actually using the pointer p, we can access this variable. You can access this object. Okay, and uh, how we can access the object that the pointer is pointing to using D reference operator. Now let's see the my class object has uh, actually a couple of member variable and member function. All right. So um, if we uh, have a regular variable of my class m, okay, how we can access a uh, member function like that m dot using dot operator set get data. Okay. Now what about this one? What about using p using pointer? how we can access the member function using the pointer okay we know that we can access the pointer we can access the uh, data from that address that the point pointer is pointing to using the dereference operator okay so we can access this uh, all the function by using the dot operator but we have to use that using the dereference operator also so the dereference of p dot get data Okay. all right so this means the address that p is pointing to okay the address p is pointing to that is the my class object and using the dot operator i can access all the public function okay now this combination of d reference and dot there is a shortcut and we can use it like that okay so this is another operator that is actually same as the combination of d reference and dot operator all right so when we are going to declare a pointer we are going to declare a pointer of object type sorry when we are going to declare a pointer of class type okay we uh, we are going to see that we are going to use this uh, operator okay for a pointer we are going to use this operator to access the public member function all right so uh, and this operator is nothing just a combination of d reference operator and dot operator now there is a for class there is a special pointer known as this pointer okay so this pointer is a predefined pointer that will refer to the calling object all right so now for example here let's see we have this function uh, i'm sorry we have this class class definition and this class has uh, like a couple of members okay now if we want to refer if we want to refer something of this calling object okay if we want to refer the, to this calling object mean uh, this calling object all right in that case we can refer that using this pointer okay so inside of this class definition we can write something like that this is our member variable or also we can write this this is actually same okay means we are saying that the variable of this this object this calling object so in this chapter we uh, actually learned about pointer pointer is a memory address that provides indirect reference to a variable okay and we learned about dynamic variable how we can create a dynamic variable and we can also destroy the dynamic variable while uh, during the runtime while the program runs so uh, dynamic variable is associated with the free store because whenever we are creating a dynamic variable it uh, allocates the memory from a free store known as uh, it's a special data structure known as heap okay 
so for the dynamically allocated array we can uh, determine the size of the array during the runtime okay so that's our summary for this chapter this is chapter 10 of our textbook okay